Hi guys, so this is my monthly favorites for the month of April, and today is sort of like a semi-winterish sort of day. I mean, we do have, it is spring, and we had a couple of days where it's been nice, but today it's just like, it snowed a little bit. It's just like, so weird. <laughs> so anyway... I'm going to get into my monthly favorites, and I only have a few favorites for this month, so I hope you guys will just enjoy this little video I'm going to do. So I'm going to get into beauty-ish sort of favorites. So I got these these two perfumes for Christmas, and they were each a dollar, and I got these at Walmart, and they were Holiday Treats Strawberry Lollipop, and this is what it looks like. You can tell I've used it. A lot so far and um yeah it really does smell like strawberries I never had like a sort of like I I wanted to save it because you know strawberries reminds me of like the spring and summertime you know stuff like that and I really liked it because it really does smell like strawberries like it really smells like a strawberry scent and you can't really get that anywhere I don't think and this is a holiday treat perfume again and this is winter jelly bean and I got this at Walmart it was a it was on sale for a dollar and this is what it looks like you can't really tell because the thing's really shiny but um yes it's like a green light green sort of um liquid and it really does smell like a jelly bean and I got this in the winter time for Christmas it really wasn't like for Christmas it was just around Christmas when Walmart had out all their stuff so anyway um yeah, they were, they were, these were only a dollar, and I've used this for a while, I used this before for a little bit, but I'm like, why not use it for Easter, like, April for Easter, so, that's what I use those two for, so those I got at Walmart, they don't have them anymore, because they for, they're for Christmas, and they probably won't have them out next year, because they always get different scents in, so this is a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, and this is called Pistachio Vanilla, and this is what it looks like. I'm not sure when I got this. I mean, it looks like it's like a holiday scent, but it doesn't say that it's like a limited edition scent. So anyway, you can tell I've used this for a while. It's like this like weird green color and it's spark it has sparkles in it. And it really does I don't really know what pistachios smell like because I never ate pistachios before, but it smells like vanilla. It smells like a strong vanilla scent with a scent that I guess is supposed to smell like pistachios. I don't know if this, they still have this scent or they discontinued it. Because I had this for a while. So, I don't know. It's it's enriched with Tunisian palm milk. And, yeah, it looks, it smells like vanilla, basically. But it does have a little hint of some kind of other scent to it at the same time. And you can tell I really like that one for my favorites video. So the next thing I got is, is at Walmart, and it's the Equate Beauty. And I think Equate Beauty is, like, their sort of knockoff brands and stuff. And I got this because if you've seen in my previous sort of favorites videos, I don't know which favorites video it is, I used the simple um, eye anti puffiness for under eyes and they don't sell that anymore at Walmart so I have to experiment and see which which kind of eye roller thing is going to be good for me so this is the Equate Beauty anti-puffness anti-puffness eye roller and this is what it looks like I'm not trying to show you guys if it looks like that but um I'm not trying to just if it looks like that don't worry about it but um, this is what it looks like. You can't really tell, but it comes in like this little, um, I don't know how you explain it, but it's like this little bottle, and you can feel, you can hear the liquid in it, and you just roll this on your eyes. Like, I shake it up when I'm pushing it down like this, and then I just roll it onto my eye, and it really does help with my under eye problems. It's, you start from the inner corner out, and smooth in with finger until absorbed. And I think this was like $7 at Walmart, and I don't use it all the time. I just use it like every once in a while when my eyes look really puffy, and it does work even though it's Walmart brand. Um, this I also got at Walmart, and I got this for 
it was like a couple days after Christmas where all their stuff's on like 50% off. And it came in a th it came in a box and it had three different kinds of lotion in it. And I think in every one of my favorites videos, I showed you one of these. And this is Bodycology and that's like sort of like Walmart's brand of like, I guess like Bath and Body Works sort of scents. I don't know. And this is Body College and this is the type, it's romantic. It's say bonjour to a whirlwind romance with a seductive bouquet of French jasmine, French jasmine, clementine, and warm vanilla musk. And it's called Pretty in Paris. And I think this only was like $5 at, like the whole pack was $5. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't really smell like it has vanilla in it. It does smell like jasmine, and what's the other thing they said? Jasmine. It just smells like jasmine a lot. And I've used this for, I think, like, the whole month of February, and there's still some in here. And it really does smell good. And I got this because, as you guys know, if you see in the back, there's Paris pictures, and this is, like, the Paris-ish sort of room. And I really like to wish to go to Paris one day, so I use this even though, I don't know, Just I just liked it because it had Paris in it. And I have, like, little hand creams with this kind of a scent, and it does smell good. It really does smell like, um, if you ever got any of the Paris sort of scents from Bath & Body Works, it sort of smells like that. So, the next favorite I have is, is from Organics, and it's Formula, Formula Organics Beauty Pure and Simple. It's sulfate-free. It's sulfate-free for nourishing color hair hair color care and it's called nourishing Van coconut milk shampoo and i do use the conditioner and it's indulge your senses with this exclusive blend of coconut milk to nourish your hair while ultra whipped white egg proteins add strength and electric electricity along with weightless coconut oils to add hydration and balance so this is what it looks like it comes in these little tubes they only i got this at walmart and you could probably find it probably, like, anywhere, like, in any store, probably, like, in, um, a drugstore or in Giant or something like that. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. I think it costs, like, I don't know, like, $7 per bottle, so it's, like, $14 plus dollars together. And it really does smell like coconut milk. Like, oh, my God, you guys, like, I'm on, all my stuff is coconut right now, like, the coconut hair care products and then my coconut shamp not shampoo my coconut um body soap or whatever you want to call it and i had a um what was it i had um i forget i had oh i had like hand soap i think it was and it really does smell good like it does smell coconutty it really does smell good it's like the best ever and i use organics i used to use organics and then i started to use different kinds of products and I started to use um the herbal essences stuff and the last one I had it actually made my hair really dry and somebody said that those products can make your hair really dry so I'm using this now and it really does make my hair feel hydrated and it makes my hair of course smell like coconuts and it really it smells really good it smells it's like the best organics is sort of like I guess it's like in my top three brands of hair care, shampoo, conditioner sort of stuff. So the last sort of um, favorite I have that's not book related is the candle. And um, the best place to get candles is at Yankee Candle. I don't care if you like Walmart candles or if you like um, Bath & Body Works candles. Yankee Candle is like the best ever. And if you get coupons from there, they have a sale right now where... You can get, like, two small ones and get two free, two medium ones get two free, and two large ones get two free, depending on what coupon you have. And this is Yankee Candle Vineyard. And when we, we went, this, I had this candle for, like, a while, and what happened is, is the girl, the lady who works there, and they're such sweet women who work at, like, Yankee Candle, they like to give you, like, different sort of, like, tips on how to, like, smell it and, like, you should smell it in the lid instead of, like, the candle part. And all this other stuff. And she said that her favorite, it was, I guess it's for, like, the spring sort of, um, scents, I guess. for. And this was, like, in March or February. I can't really remember. And it was one of their new scents. And it's the Yankee Candles Vineyard.
guys, like, when I, I cannot get enough of this candle, like, even when I light it, it smells exactly like grapes, and when you smell it, it has a really, like, grapey scent to it, which is, like, the best ever. I don't know if they still have it out anymore. I really don't know, because don't they like to change their um, candle scents like every month or so? So my second to last favorites for the month of April is, is my book favorites. And next week I will do a book review on all the books that I've read for the month of April. And I did do a book haul, a book sale haul, and that was the last video I did. So you can go check that out if you really like books or anything like that. And this is the first one I read. I just finished reading this, like, just, like, a 20 minutes ago. And it's V.C. Andrews' Daughter of Darkness. There's an epilogue and a prologue to this. This is what it looks like. I got this at Walmart. I think it was at Walmart. I think. Yeah, it was at Walmart. I got this book. And it's about, it's her first vampire, um book novel that she wrote. She doesn't write anything. She doesn't write, like about vampires and stuff like that all the time. It's usually about, like, crazy, insane people. But, um, this book was really different from her other books she writes. Like, the other books, you're, like, so used to her talking about, like, these crazy families and everything. I'm taking my glasses off. These crazy families and everything. And when you, when she wrote a vampire book, you can tell she was, like, right out, outside of her genre a little bit because it just was weird and, um, it was just really weird in general, the whole book. And, um, there's, like I said, there's a prologue, an epilogue, and there's 21 chapters in it. And they're all really sort of long, so you guys know. I don't know if you can find this book at Walmart anymore. I just found it, like, a, a recent find I found at Walmart one day. And I was like, I better get this book and read it because it's V.C. Andrews. The next book I got is by Wanda E. Braunsetter, and this is called The Decision. It's a new series she's going to have out, and it's The Prairie State Friends, book one. And this book was really, really good. I can't remember how many chapters are in it, because I read this a while ago. But um, the chapters in it are really, really short, and it's just because um, the, the, uh, the words on the page are not, like, small, but they're, like... They're not really small and tiny, like, you can't read them. They're just small. And just because in each chapter, excuse me, there's a lot of... Excuse me again. There's a lot of, um, different storylines in it. And, of course, when she, um, goes into a new storyline, she has one of these, like, little squiggly things and a, and a huge space. So you guys know that's a different storyline and different character she's talking about. But, um, this is, this was a really good book. I got this at Walmart, and she's, like, the best ever. Like, it takes her a while to get books out, especially, like, she doesn't really write a lot, I think, in the wintertime. She usually writes a lot in the spring and summertime. And this book was really, really good. Like, oh my god, guys, it was just so good. There was lots of, there was some sad things, and then there was some really weird things that happened in it. It was really good. I can't like give any details t uh, details away but if you if you ever read her books and you've read the discovery saga from her um series of books she has there is a character in that book that was is in this book that in the decision that you have to read but you don't have to read like the whole series to know who he is or anything because she explains it in her book just in case like you never read those books yet before this is another book. It's Love Inspired Family Ties, A Dad for Her Twins by Louise Rit Richer. And this is what it looks like. This one had 13, no, had 16 chapters in it and an epilogue. And this is what it looks like, like I said before. This book, that book really wasn't that great, to be honest. Like, there was a lot of, like, biblical quotes in it and stuff, which I thought was, like, distracting from the whole story. And I only got it because, like, I needed another, like, small read, to say, to break up all the books I've read that were really, that, uh, that were really, like, that were bigger books. I wanted, like, a little small read, and that book was, like, okay, but it really wasn't that great to even begin with. So don't go by the book. I bought that at Walmart, and I, they don't have them anymore because I always switch the Holler Quinn books and Love Inspired books out every month. So, yeah, it's not there. So, this book is, is a sequel, 
And this is by Dan Danielle Page, The Wicked Will Rise, and it's the, this is the second book in the series. And the first book is called Dorothy Must Die, and it's about this girl. It's about Dorothy comes back to Oz, and she turns evil. And this girl comes from, like, a cyclone or today tornado to Oz, and her mission is to kill Dorothy. And she has these peop these witches. They're helping her out, and there's the classic... Um, uh, there's the classic characters in the book, like the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, Dorothy, the Lion, Toto, the um, Glenda, stuff like that. And it's really hard to explain without giving like anything away. But um, there are prequels to these books. They're um, little nove novellas, and you can get them on Amazon. And they're all like two ninety nine, and then they all go in order. So it's like the first the first prequel starts out with how Dorothy got back. And then the second one deals with, um, I forget what the second one deals with. The second one deals with, I think, like, the witches that are in this. And then the third one that recently came out is about, um, the Wizard of Oz. And then the next one's gonna come out, is gonna be coming out in July. And that one's gonna be all about the Tin Man. So there's gonna be another book to this one, to this series, probably. Those are just the prequels. And this is the actual book the second book in the series that you can get at like target you can't get this at walmart it's only at target and this is called dorothy must die like i said it's a pre it's the sequel to dorothy must die it's the wicked will rise and this is all about um the girl who comes to oz to kill dorothy her name is amy and it's just picking up on the second um wh where the first book left off and the ending to this book is really really like insane like it's insane and I think there's like 46 chapters in this book I can't remember because I read this for a while a while ago but I'm missing what it looks like her books are really good like Daniel Pages I think like she's an up-and-coming new author and her books are really, really good because it shows you a different side to Dorothy because it's like well what if Dorothy did come back and this is how it's like showing all of everything that happens I wish she, those books were made into movies because they are so amazing. They're, like, the best ever. They're, like, they're, like, it's just, like, the attitudes each character has and everything is just so good. And they all blend together. It's, like, the best ever book ever. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. They have these at Target. They always have this book at Target when I'm up there. So, you guys should go and get it. I don't know how much it is. I forget because my mom got it. So, I don't know how much it is. She reads these books, too. But, um... Yeah, so my last favorite of the month is my favorite YouTubers, and I haven't really did a favorite YouTubers in a while, so I'm going to tell you my favorite, I have two favorite YouTubers for the month of April, and the one is The Sherman Show, and it's about Sam Sherman, if you ever, you, she has a, she has a beauty um, account, and it's called Sam Sherman, if you put that in, then, um, she, the, her picture has, like, blonde hair, and she's really pretty, and that's my first one, is The Sherman Show, and it's about her and her husband and her two kids and their little adventures they have, and their daily, their daily vloggers, so a video is usually up, like, every day, so that's my first one, but the first, the, my all-time favorite one, and I just discovered them on YouTube, is Living Rosa, oh my god, like, their videos are so good, and they're too... Ugh. There are two um wives. It's not even like doing like a, a lot because I'm like re like my mouth is like really dry right now. But um, Living Rosa is about two wives who are on a journey to become moms, and they are like the best ever. Like they are like so cute and adorable. I'll see if I can put my link their link in my description box so you guys know, and I'll also link the Sherman Show in the description box so you can go watch them too and I'll put in my YouTube account for my book account that I have on Tumblr so you guys can go check out those three accounts but Living Rosa is like the best one ever so I hope you guys go subscribe to them and if you do subscribe to them um tell me that comment and tell them that you were invited by me to go see their videos or whatever else so i see you guys next time with another video. I hope you guys go check out the channels I mentioned from my favorite YouTubers. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.